Idaho's largest giant sequoia has found a new home at Fort Boise Park. Crews worked close to 12 hours pushing the four-ton tree on rollers. Spectators watched as they worked all night and into the afternoon. I never imagined that they could actually move a tree this large and as you know, simply as it seems to be. The tree's new home is 1,200 feet away from where it was first planted in 1912. St. Luke's donated the tree to Boise Parks and Rec and paid close to $300,000 to get the job done, all to make way for their downtown campus expansion. We've got irrigation drainage you know, uh, to put in. I'm even going to put a little misting system up in the canopy of the tree for these hot days. I didn't realize it got this hot in Boise. While this giant sequoia has been in the city of trees for over 100 years, its roots can be traced back to the famous naturalist John Muir. It has been a wonderful heirloom for our family, and um, it's also a landmark for Boise. As a seedling, John Muir gave it to Mary Grand Jean's grandfather, who donated it to the hospital. She's happy to see it still has a life as the tree switches hands one more time. I have to say that I'm completely amazed. This is an enormous engineering feat. On behalf of my family, we're so grateful that the tree was so well cared for. Boise Parks and Rec will now have the tall task of taking care of the tree. They, along with the experts who moved it, will be monitoring it closely for the next five years. This tree is going to be struggling for a little while, so that's why we have to be very careful about how much water we give to it. We want to make sure it gets enough but then again, not too much. Experts say if all goes well, the tree could be around for another 400 years. Michael Severin, six on your side.